extra credit. Um, I used to have the little books right here of online books that you can read, but I have everything in extra credit. So if you want to do extra credit at any point in the quarter, and this is this even pertains to next year when you guys are in government class, you just click on the extra credit link and it'll take you to my extra credit folder. I actually, for those who are native studies, I have an extra one, this one, I have a projects folder. So there's folders for any type of, um, Okay, and there's nothing in there because it's the first day of the quarter. Um, so I have my direction paper for you. So look at that if you want to do extra credit, read the direction. Um, but I have projects, readings, podcasts, books, as well as multiple books over there. These are online books. Some of them are PDF that you don't have to sign into anything, but most of them are online ones that you do have to sign up for an account, but you can read it for free still. And then I have uh, physical books over there that uh, if it is within the time period that we're talking about, you can still get it for extra credit. Um, I do want to show you the videos one. Um, I have my great grandpa here talking about one of his war stories so you can listen to him. Um, I'm hoping, I hope I get more family stories, even if students have recordings of stories or, or written stories from people involved and their family involved in different events in history. That's a movie you can watch. Um, this one is a document that has history channel videos. So here is, I have a account that I set up for the school for you guys to use. This is account information, it has documentaries and series, a lot of the cool series like the men who built America, the food that built America, um, fam, modern mar marbles, dog fights, big history. Like there's a bunch of really cool stuff. So. The more you watch, the more that you do, the more extra credit you can get. Um, but eventually I will have a document for Netflix, for YouTube, and for Amazon Prime videos that you can watch to get extra credit. But all the instructions of what to do for extra credit are right there. So that's where you get that, that from. Okay, all right. We're gonna start with today in history, 1965, um, World, uh, Vietnam War had started. And today in history was the first anti-war teach-in where all the teachers stole phones from students who were using it in class before they took them away. That is crazy. That I is know. Crazy. All in one day. Keep your phones away. It's my next time. Been for a while. No. Do you see how smooth that was though? I'm no. getting good at that. First anti-war teach-in. So all across the country, we have professors at colleges who, if they were against the war, which We've talked about this before, how controversial uh, the Vietnam was, War was. We're going to talk about why in the future when we get to that war, but just know it's hugely controversial. So basically what this teaching was, was they all dropped their plans of what they were going to teach that day to their college students, and they told everybody how the war was bad and basically protesting against the war in their classes. So that was the first one of many. And for and one type of many anti-war protests that happened in the Vietnam War. Today in the news, we've talked about the protests happening in the country Myanmar, Myanmar before. Oh, Myanmar. Uh huh. The past couple of weeks, we've been talking about that. Last week, I told you guys that there was over thirty people killed in the protest that the weekend before. That number has increased to over two hundred and sixty. Thousand or no people. people, not thousand. Over two hundred sixty people in the in the country, which is a small country. That country is like the size of California. It's as if the whole 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 state of California was protesting, and they're in martial law because the police have been controlling everything. Because the police staged their their, their military, not the police, their military staged a coup, takeover of government. And the elected person who was supposed to lead the country is now in prison. The military put them in prison, right? That's, that's what the whole protest is about because they're protesting that their elected leader was put in prison and is not able to fulfill his duties. And the military is taking control of the country. Um, so already 200, over 260 people have already been killed, but protesters who are there say the number is definitely over 300. They just haven't been able to confirm, but they said it's over 300. So whichever it is, it's still really high. Um, this is one reason why Myanmar is one of the worst countries in the world for human rights. They're 
they just don't give a lot of freedoms to people. And right now, nothing has happened. You know, the world, many countries have said, it's horrible what they're doing, it's bad. You need to, you need to release your, the, the leader. You guys need to stop this coup, you know, whatever. Um, but by the UN, they, they have a couple primary focuses that they did the UN, United Nations. So one of their primary focuses are to stop world wars from happening or wars between countries. Right? They want to try to prevent that through diplomatic talking solutions, basically work it out before the war happens. The other thing, though, is to act if a country's leader or a large group in a country is doing something seriously wrong to other parts of the country. So like if there's a genocide going on or if there's um, people who are just executing people um, for something like this, right, is something that the UN could do something about if they decided to. So far, the only thing the UN has done was said, we condemn what you're doing, and that's all they're doing. Do you guys know what condemn means? That's totally rad. It's not rad. Condemn means like, we think what you're doing is wrong. That's what condemn means. I condemn you, that means I, what you're doing is wrong. Okay. So that's what's going on in the news lately. Myanmar is getting worse. And I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know if the military is going to give up or if it's just going to be a country ran by a military and there's going to be a lot more deaths before people, um, you know, to have to deal with it. But I do know there are a lot of people who have been escaping Myanmar to leave because of the uh, uh, martial law. They have been leaving to Bangladesh and to this northern portion of India over here. So they've been taking in a lot of uh, refugees into their country because of this going on. I have a question about your quote. So yeah. You're afraid to fail. Slowly succeed. So you want us to fail. Yeah, so that you can succeed. I want you to get the answer wrong so that no. I can teach you how to do it the right way. Or I can help you figure out how to do it the right way. class in general. No. Although I would like you to fail so I can see you in class more. <laughs> <laughs> I always joke with some of my seniors. I'm like, man, why don't you just fail so that you can stay in school and I can teach you more? And they're like, ha ha, you're funny. <laughs> you mess with all your seniors the most? I'm not going to answer that question. Are all of you missed? We're moving on. Can I answer that question? <laughs> vocabulary. We're going to go over some vocabulary. We're going to split you guys into two teams. And I wonder no, that's not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna split you guys into two teams, and you guys are gonna go through vocabulary that you should know because this is the first day of our World War II unit. And so we're gonna see what vocabulary you know. So you're gonna be matching the vocabulary term with the definition. So let's get in teams of it may it be me books and my books. Me, Blix, and Ken. Me and Blix are not teams, but we think alike. How about, because I know you guys like to be in the same group. Um, Me and Blix are teams. <laughs> let's have Allison, you come over here, and then Ken with these boys back here. Okay, uh, one of you guys needs to be on the computer. The other two needs to sit right next to them or really close to them enough that they can see the computer as well. Okay, one person needs to open up their computer, go to the history class, and click on. World War II vocab assignment. Right. But you guys all, yeah, you're, you're going to need to be all facing the same way. You are at least close enough so that you guys can all see the same computer screen. So, have someone be the person controlling the computer. Whoever that is, go on to our history class and click on World War II vocab assignment. Did you like having Kendrick in your class? I did. You I'm not answering who I'm missing. I'm not answering that. Rachel missed me last year. We're trying to have the best students at the school. We could have done better last quarter. What do you mean? Oh, you're in US history three. Or you're something else. Yeah, you're in US history three. Okay. So World War II vocab. The ones that killed me with my attendance better than my school. I wrote my assignments for you. Your assignments were pretty good, besides that one that you didn't do that other side. And then that one. <laughs> the podcast is good, though. Yeah, your podcast is good. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to steal your Chromebook for a second to make sure that it works right because, yeah, it's taking forever to load. 
It's been it's been weird. The first section is nice, but the second section of it is is weird. So I'm gonna it's just one. I'm just gonna one two three four. I don't know what happened for why it's doing that, but something was being weird. So we're gonna have a competition. We're gonna see which group can win first. Which group can match the terms to definitions first? So I'm gonna just join lesson, click the arrow, and let's see what happens. I'm sure that. Okay, so real quick. Um, someone controls it, the other two people you can help point. When you get to the second section, when you finish the first section, you hit continue, go on to the next section. Go ahead and start. Oh, she was doing Go ahead and start. Start. This is the game. Let's see who's gonna win. You guys are these guys. You guys are competing. They're probably gonna win. Oh wait, in your pocket. You guys gotta start in order to win though. Yeah, start here. So you guys are working together. All oh. three of you. Someone controls yeah. the other two points. Being kept as a prisoner. Prisoner war. Prisoner war. Oh. Oh, he's got. He's got. Already got. Three matches. What do you mean? Well, you can match them. You can match them. You gotta click them. Click them to match them together. Uh, to give up. That's that's the strong one. Ready? Red held a bomb. Okay, go to the next one. The next one's going to be harder because for some reason they don't show small like the other ones are, so you're going to do a lot of scrolling. But it works the same way. Okay, it's just annoying because I don't know why they won't show up smaller. You just pick them? Yep, just pick them. Yep. Okay, so go to the next one. This next one's weird because they're huge. You just have to scroll up and down. Why are they so damn big? I don't know. Put the arrow, <laughs> put the arrow to get rid of the small section. I don't know why, because it worked for one person's computer that was small, like the first section, but the second one. Oh, Look, so are you being able to see? Uh -huh. Or are you take the take pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Which word off of the W or something? All right. Freaking it, it wasn't so dang big. I know, it's annoying. I don't know how to fix it. I'm gonna try, but I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, it's easier just to pick one term and then scroll to find the definition. Just do one at a time. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, I didn't even do that. I'll give you a hint. D Day has to do with something about the day. The war. The war. Countries. The day the probably day list when, countries. It's the day when they uh, put the boat on the off coast and they get rid of them. And look like you're about tied. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For Gandhi, son. And if, when you get to the point where you don't know, start clicking to see which one it could be. Nice. Oh, you, I think you guys might be winning. I think you're beating me by a few matches. Michael's just really smart. Your group is no smarter than your group. Uh, what? Oh, 
camps, the camps that we had here during World War II, they're not really internment camps. They were full-on concentration camps. We just mm -hmm. don't have systematic killing like the Nazis did. We, ours was a lot better. And we'll yes, talk we about did. it. About we were why. better at keeping people safe. We, we didn't just kill people for no reason. Were they gas them too? Or no? no. Atomic weapon. Which one is that one? There we go. Powerful bomb. Pearl Harbor. No, the United States, United States Naval Base located in Hawaii. Surrender. There you go. Rationing. Up there, top line. Every person gets an yep. equal amount of resource. This rationing is very something very common in when you're fighting in wars because it's hard for the country to be like, oh yeah, we need this much food and we'll send it out to people. When food is scarce or when supply lines are being slowed down or blocked by the enemy. You're going to run out of food. So you got to start rationing, which means limiting what you eat. Each person gets a little bit at a time. And then dictator, ruler of us, absolute power. All right, let's go to the next we're one. Do this. Huh? We're doing this. We're, this is us redoing it right here. We're going to redo it together. All right, D Day is what? The day they pull up on the beach. Tell me when to stop. Yeah, they pull up a beach. You keep saying right there to everything, so I don't know which one is right there. Okay. No, is it this one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. First day of the Allied invasion of Normandy. This is basically the beginning of the end of Germany. This goes crazy. This is so cool. I'll watch the thing on it. Yeah? Speed day. Okay, tell me when to stop. Tell me which one is it. It is. D E day. <laughs> D E day. D E day. <laughs> No. Yeah, B, P, victory in Europe, right? All right, next one, nationalism. There. What the no. no, it's not that one. Hey, come on. All right. All right, nationalism. Right there. No. Right there. No. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Which one is it? Devoted one country. Devoted one country. Nationalism was one of the four main, main causes of World War I, right? Militarism, alliances, imperialism. Nationalism, I can't get that figure up without my pinky. Yeah, pinky. Nationalism. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Those are the main causes because when you're starting to say, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure my country is the best and my country is the top, that's what starts wars. It started, it was part of the cause of World War One. it's part of the cause of World War Two. it's part of the cause of many other wars in our, in our world. Let's do this one isolationism. Isolationism. Oh, I'm scared. 
This one. You guys got it, Chris? Yes. Yeah? Staying out of other countries' affairs. You're being isolated. You stay out of their affairs. If you intervene in other countries' affairs, it's the opposite of isolationism, which is? Um, more expansion. Interventionism. You intervene in countries. You're sticking your nose in their business, right? You're getting, you're getting involved in other countries' business. Let's see. Communism. No. All right, communism. Is it this one? No. No. It is that one? Oh yeah. Yeah. Communism is a, is an economy, which has to do with money and how things are distributed to people. I like communists. Yeah, communists. So the thing about, and we'll talk more about communism when you guys are in government class. But basically, in a communist, a true communism country has never happened, okay? Because that in communism, true communism, everybody's equal, okay? That has never happened. So the communists today are really not really communists. They're more like uh, fascist socialists or they're fascist uh, or they're just like hardcore socialists. So basically, communism, they control who you get, who gets what. So Blix, if you have a family of five, and Kareem, you have a family of five, you guys will get the same thing. You'll be exactly the same because both of you have five people in your family. Okay? Even if Kareem doesn't hardly do anything, if she's lazy and Blix is super hardworking and everything, you guys still get the same thing. You get what you need. Not what you deserve or not what you work for, but what you need. Okay, here in our country, we have capitalism where you get what you work for. I like that. I like that. Okay, and, and it's a whole different, I mean, there's pros and cons to both, which we'll go into more detail when you guys are in government Ooh, class. Cons. So there's pros and cons to every economic system. Neutrality. Is this one? Stay neutral in the war. Stay neutral in the war. Sounds, sounds about right. Trying to stay neutral, keeping out of the war. That was our policy. We were trying to stay interventionist to stay out of the war. Allied countries, is it this one? Yep. That's right. And Axis countries are the other side, our the, enemies. The stinky ones. The stinky ones? Are these the stinky ones? Yeah. Germany, Japan, and Italy, for the first part at least. Victory, yeah. Japan, Day. We should learn about gender reveals in history. DJ Day at Enlist. Sign up and government that holds all the power. Axis. Fascism. So fascism is the type of government that Hitler had in Germany where the government controls everything. The government in the fascist fascist government, the government is basically the elite. They are the decision makers, they are the top class, and they are the ones who control everything. Okay. So it's different from communism. Governmental control is like big in both of them, but they're different because communism, people are supposed to be equal. Fascism is like the government's most important thing in the country. We should have gender reveals in history. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Veto that one. You guys are gonna go on to everybody individually grab your Chromebook. You guys are going to look at a timeline of some major events in World War II. So open up your Chromebook and you're going to go to the timeline assignment. While you guys are doing that, do you guys know why there's a victory in Japan and a victory in Europe day? Do you guys want to know what, why that is? That's okay if nobody does. It's okay. Because there, we fought World War II in basically two different fronts. There was a huge front going on in Europe right here around Germany. And then the other main enemy was Japan and, fought, and war, battles around there was fought in the areas around Japan. So Europe and the European countries, specifically Germany, they gave up and lost the war sooner than Japan did. So Japan stayed in the war. So we celebrate BE Day when all European countries in the Axis powers gave up. Japan so there's no more war in Europe anymore, but Japan was still going. So there was still World War II going on in the, in the um, Eastern Front where Japan is. That's why there's two different victory days. Japan never gave up. That's one thing about them, never gave up. Yeah, and they were taught to as part of their culture. Sad, man. They're thinking they got 
got they got nuked and they still didn't. If their culture would have been different, with the nuke probably would not have been dropped. Uh, um, but I mean, is is if we're going to talk about the decision to drop the bombs here? So what are you going to do for this assignment? This timeline assignment. Little okay. boy and. Is you're going to go through. You're going to click on this site that has a link that says click on this site. Go to the site. You're going to click through the timeline and you're going to read about events that happened in World War II. Okay, it'll have a brief description of different events. You're going to find, write or type seven events that you did not know about. And you're going to write down the event or type it. You can type or write. You're going to just going to tell me what happened, just a sentence or two. That's it. About each event? About the events that you did not know about. So if you already knew about an event, skip it. Okay. So seven events then. That you yeah that you did not know about. So there are fourteen sentences for those. Well, seven to fourteen, one to two sentences for each event. If you do one sentence per event, that's fine. You basically have to tell me what happened in that event. Okay. So the first part of the timeline is going to be stuff that happened on the European front in Europe, and then the second part is going to be on the Japanese the Europe the uh, um, the Eastern front in Japan. So the Western Front and in, in the or they call it the Pacific. Pacific the theater and the European theater. Because that's where all the battles happened in those areas. The one in the okay. So if you've heard of it, move on to the next one. If you have it, read it and then write down one sentence or two about the event. So you can either type it in in this assignment on Canvas or get out a piece of paper and you're gonna write. Okay? Whichever one you prefer. So type, if you're not gonna type, go get a paper. This is a very beautiful base you got here. It is. It's very, I don't even remember where I got it from. Uh, I don't remember. I had it, I first had it. I remember I got that base when I was like 12. My neighbor was having a yard sale and I was like, that's super cool. So I bought it. I think I bought it for like three bucks or something. And then the family was a little off. I bought it for three bucks. <laughs> There's a sentimental connection to it now. Seven, ten, twelve, seven, Viewer. ten, fourteen. Viewer, we're yeah. not talking about the owner bus here. Twenty-four. Maybe for your own snap. Actually, forty dollars an hour. I'll give you an hour on the assignment if you do your work well. All in quarters too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go through that. Click through the timeline, and again, you can either type or write. You should write one word. Learned all that. Helen Keller. It's not part of our standards. Well, it's crazy how she was famous for writing a book when she's blind and deaf. Well, she spoke it and then someone wrote, 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 wrote it for her. Uh, so, 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 so we just like. So, if you come to an event that you don't um, know, if you've never heard of it before, then you read it and you're like, oh, okay, that's what happened. You write down the event and what happened, just like I said. And it's like, if you're reading about an event and you're like, I don't understand what this is talking about, let me know. Okay. Yeah, my phone got an A for Blake, too. Yeah. How did I get an A for Blake? Well, I, you got an A because it was only a little bit late. And because there's, I, I take away points from it getting late in your participation behavior uh, grade, not your academic grade. Because it's a behavior turn in late, not like lack of knowledge. So that's where I take the points away from. I should have other books. Yeah, but you could turn it on. Or else I would have given you one. Mm -hmm. It says Wednesday? Yes. Oh, we got school tomorrow again. Right. I wish you'd come to school all week. So you guys have about 10 minutes now to get your seven events written down. Again, remember, if you do not understand what one of them are, just let me know. The first is the European French, so that's just talking about where, like, the first part of it. So just skip, skip over to the next event. <laughs> Kenny, that's clever. <laughs> what? This little leg rest. Oh, you're cute. Again, please, if you do not understand something, tell me, and I'll help you understand what it's talking about. We should put music in school. Yeah. 
Do you have any demands for your new classroom for school? Yes. What? You probably have. Really? Yeah. What's one thing? Um, a bigger room. That's good. A window. Those are some of mine. Um, more outlets. Four outlets. More outlets. We have like sixty. Okay, but yeah, but there's those right there, and then there's one up there in the middle of the hall wall, and then there's one right there and one right there. And there. there should be four outlets. Because I like your Alexa. Good enough. Okay, so that's one thing. Now you got six more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just tell me what the event was, and then just like a sentence or two describe what it is. What do you need your Alexa for? Just for like quick, like figure out information or what. They're from, they're like, they don't cost you much. Like, okay, they're no, they're not. They're all mine. I think that one was only like 20. I got it as a Christmas present. The race was on like 20. What's the race laws? Can you remember the race laws? We make sure we read them. Well, how about you read it and then figure it out <laughs> instead of me? <laughs> <laughs> You're <very> smart. <laughs> well, I don't know about a job that could be good actually, because get people to distract and off topic super easy. 